the culture of life in America out of Proverbs 31, 8 through 9. Open your mouth for the speechless and the cause of all who are appointed to die. Open your mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and needy. Father, today we bring before you 3,200 babies appointed to die today, God. And we're asking that you would encounter mothers and fathers considering abortion today. Would you break in with light and life today? We ask that you would show them their worth and the worth of this child within within the womb of this mother, God. We're asking, God, that you would cancel abortion appointments today. We're asking, Jesus, that you would raise up families willing to adopt, willing to wrap their arms around these single mothers, God. We're asking that you would raise up churches, God, to be cities set on a hill. God, you said in your word that true religion before you is to care for the fatherless and the widow, for the unborn and the single mothers. God, we're asking, raise up your church to be the answers to her own prayers, God, for you to end abortion. We pray this prayer again, God. We've been praying for 20 years. Jesus, I plead your blood over my sins and the sins of my nation. God, end abortion and send revival to America. God, we ask that you would tip over the bowl of prayers. God, end abortion. We ask for our government today that she would raise up voices for the voiceless, God. And in the church, raise up voices for the voiceless. Release dreams and visions and encounters, God, to pastors, to believers, to families, God, to singles, God, to our government, God, give us your heart for the unborn and for the single mothers. Even now, God, we commission angels to the north, the south, the east and the west to carry the invitation of the Lord's heart for adoption. God, release invitations to adoption to adopt, God. We ask that families would say yes to your heart, God, that you would break off any fear, God, any lies, God, even fear of finances, fear of not being enough, or fear of what might happen with their biological children, God, whatever the fears might be, God, we ask that you would silence fears and you would put boldness and courage into the heart of your church. God, raise up pastors who will preach on the fatherless who will preach on adoption and on the unborn and abortion. God, raise up voices for the voiceless. God, give us your gift of travail, God, that we would weep with you. We would partner with your heart to see abortion end. God, raise up abolitionists from the Church of America. Set churches as cities on hills and release your invitation to families to adopt in the name of Jesus. Oh, will you raise up Obedience to take one more in. Raise. 